Right now I will show you how to create the transition with Premiere Pro but as far as I know it should be the same in After Effects and Sony Vegas so you can also watch this tutorial if you're on After Effects or Vegas. So first of all you obviously need your two clips and I already added uh, some effects and then you want to go to the point where you want your transition to start. So I wanted to start here because the trickster on this kill looks pretty decent. Then make a screenshot by pressing this little button right here. Uh, import it to project and then just drag this right here. Now click on the picture on your timeline, go to opacity and press on free draw bezier. And you can zoom in right here, turn it to 150. And then just start masking your character. Now I made this mask for the character, of course you want to make a cleaner mask, but for me that's just a tutorial. And yeah, now you want to go to the first frame of your new clip where you want your clip to start. And I wanted to start right here, so drag this here and make another screenshot. Yeah, now we basically have to do the same thing once again, so just go to opacity and click on free draw bezier and mask the character out once again. Now when you're done with this we can finally start creating our transition. If you want to position the images like I did, so just uh, put them next to each other. Then go to the last frame of your first clip and go 35 frames to the right. And, and then drag the first image to this point. Also drag your first clip to this point and cut it right here. Then go to the point where the first image stops and go 35 frames to the right again. And also adjust the length of the second image. Then you also want to drag this to the left. Now zoom in a little bit and go to the first video. Go 8 frames to the right and search for blur more curves. Drag them on and make a keyframe in the beginning for the Z dist and then go to the end and put this to 1.7. Now also drag Blurmore curves on the second image right here. And also put the Z dist to 1.7 without adding any keyframes. And now you already have this animation. Now you basically want to do the opposite thing for the second uh, part of the uh, transition, put this to 1.7, then go to the end and go 8 frames to the left, make a cut and and then put a keyframe in the beginning to 1.7 and turn it back to 1 in the end. Now you want to search for s underscore swish 3D and drag this onto both of the middle parts. So now go to the point where the animation of the blurmer curves stops. For me that's right here. Go down to the, your s underscore swish, pa uh, swish 3D effect and search for tilt and swivel. Turn these both to minus 360 and turn this to minus 360 as well. Now go to the beginning and set a keyframe for the y percent and go to the end and put this to 26 and then go to the second part right here and go to swish pan now change the tilt and the swivel to plus 360 and then make a keyframe in the beginning turn it to 26 and go to the end and turn it to zero and now drag all of these one layer above and press ALT and drag them uh, one layer below to duplicate them. And now remove all of the uh, Lemma curves and 3D swish effects from the bottom tracks. 
Now just nest all of the uh, bottom tracks and search for s underscore blur and drag this onto this. And if you want you can fade it in by pressing the stopwatch right here, turning it to zero, then just go five frames in. And I wouldn't turn this too high, I would just put this to 28. Yeah, now you have this animation. Yeah, it already looks decent. But now we still have to add some effects. Drag this one layer above and drag in the overlay that is linked in the description. The overlay should look something like this. Then drag this between both of your tracks. Now go to the effect controls of the overlay and turn the opacity or turn the blending mode to uh, color dodge. And then click on this, press control D this fades it in. Then you want to search for Luma key. Key right here. Drag this onto the bottom clips or onto the bottom track and you already see what it does. It gives it like this really nice laggish touch. You can also uh, keyframe the threshold. Just set a keyframe in the beginning to zero and after that go a few frames forward and set a keyframe to 70. Now search for cross dissolve and drag this on uh, the two images and decrease the length of it. And one thing that you don't want to forget is uh, to add drop shadow onto the moving video. So uh, search for drop shadow and you can just use the normal one or whichever drop shadow you prefer. And now let me just render this real quick because now we're basically done. And as always, I would really appreciate if you'd consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also don't forget to leave a like and maybe even a comment. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to DM me on Instagram. I usually answer all of your DMs there. So yeah, have a nice day. See you in the next one. And I know that it's hell coming, I ain't worried, my nigga with me Gotta put the narcotics down, I can feel them fucking in my kidney And punch on my liver, if I let it kill me, my mama Oh, uh -huh.